Okay, you're going to notice that uh, I'm going to kind of do this in a way that most people wouldn't think to do. Um, I always take when I plant sunflowers and you can see that this is kind of a clay because I'm at the edge of where this bed was at. So there is some there is some compost but it's mostly clay because uh, I'm pretty close to the fence line here. All I'm doing is digging a trench and we got a whole bunch of rain the past few days. And the thing about sunflowers is they really don't care what kind of soil you plant them in. Now they prefer soil that drains well and clay don't drain well. But since this will basically is in direct sunlight that by the time these roots sprout the roots can actually spread forward where all the compost is at and i i've planted sunflowers before right up against fence lines i'm only really about what is that four or five inches from the fence line and th this works pretty well for me in the past now what i'm going to do even though i move clay out of the way I'm going to put compost over top of it. And I'm only going to put the seeds about an inch and a half apart. And so that's what I kind of meant by I overseed because it's very easy for me to take and thin these out if I want to but for the most part they do fine sometimes I'll drop two seeds I don't care to pick them up that's just how I do it so I'm gonna have four varieties of sunflowers Four varieties of sunflowers. And uh, not all of them produce an edible seed, but they produce a lot of flowers that the bees like. As you can see, I didn't really put a lot of soil on them either. And in about, usually it takes about four or five days you'll actually see these starting to pop up. That is probably good enough. So I'm gonna to try to do these like highest in the back, lowest in the front. This bed's probably about three feet wide and that's kind of how I'm gonna do it.
and there we go so i don't know what that is that's probably a a 10 foot section and then like i said i'm gonna stagger this and i could actually plant this farther but um i may do that i may just do this whole area right here it's a pretty big area but uh for now i got these done and i usually stagger plant some flowers anyways so uh i'll wait about a week and i'll do another row and until i run out of seeds four packets of seeds i think there's about you know depending on the the variety there's between 50 and 100 seeds per packet so four different varieties that's you know somewhere between 200 and 400 uh, sunflowers and basically i just turned this whole area into a sunflower bed Let me show you something. These other uh, these other seeds come in, and uh, probably going to be the last time I order seeds from Amazon, because all of these seeds. Probably going to be the last time I order seeds from Amazon because all of these seeds just look like they're junk. So um, it was 250, 350 seeds. I planted every one of them in these two rows. We'll see how many come up. And uh, go ahead and get these covered up now. And I'm sure that there are probably none of these are going to come up. Now I am going to water these and try to get them to come up. <laughs> Obviously I didn't plant them just to plant them, just for them to fail. I planted them for them to be successful. But I can kind of tell a good quality seed from something that's not just by looking at it. And I don't know, these look like they probably came from China and we all know how those usually end up working out if you ever bought seeds off of Amazon so I am going to try to make them come up I hope and pray they work but I bet you they don't I tell you I'm just about ready to just stop doing business with Amazon entirely because I got to think about all the money I spend there and a good portion of all that stuff that comes in is just junk. Now I know there are some things that you can get off of Amazon that are kind of unique. You can't really get anywhere else and maybe they are decent quality but a lot of it is just trash. You look at things like when you're spending a lot of money for like beekeeping equipment and stuff now there has been some things i bought off of there that i do think are good quality like those hoover hives i bought i've got them up on my youtube i promoted them i said they were good quality but you know the the wary hives i bought prior to those were not very good quality they barely made it one year i think So anyways, got these planted. I'll go ahead and cover these up with some grass to keep the keep it from drying out so quickly. There was actually a bunch of straw that was already here from previous years. Ain't like this is a big deal, but I did cover up the first row this way. I probably didn't record it. And then we'll just see what happens. But 
I think we already know what's going to happen. I think it's probably not going to come up at all. But I've been wrong a time or two. So there is our sunflower bed. Let's see, probably about 500 seeds planted in this little area. I know it's over planted, but like I said, if they come up and it looks too crowded, I can always reduce the plants, right? So I'll keep you posted. I'm going to go ahead and get these watered too. Here is an update on May 15th on the 450 sunflower seeds that I planted because I thought the seeds would be junk. And the first package was actually like some mammoth sunflowers that were like burpee seeds I picked up at, I don't know, Walmart or something. And then the next two rows, I'm starting to see signs of them coming up too are some three packages of mixtures. I'm actually seeing a lot of those seeds starting to come up after I just watered them. And on the third row, I'm also seeing more sunflowers starting to emerge. So yeah, if I have 450 sunflowers, that'd be okay too. But I will probably have to thin some down from this area. You know, if you go by the actual, what a sunflower space could occupy this one could maybe do 20 or 30 <laughs> we'll just figure it out and let them grow and see what happens right that's what i do i like to experiment but i mostly plant them for the bees these will generally start to bloom about the time that other nectar and pollen sources in the area start to slow down so i usually do sunflowers every year and i usually also do buckwheat and I actually only planted 20 pounds of buckwheat last year instead of 40. So I s still have an extra 20 pounds of buckwheat. And I kind of did that on purpose because I wanted to see how much of the buckwheat starts to come back from what I planted last year. And then that'll let me know the rate that I need to plant it in uh, future years. So I think last year is the first time I did buckwheat. Maybe it's a year before. I can't remember because of the chemo brain and cancer and memory issues and all that stuff. I may have did it the year before last, but I think I also did it last year too. Or maybe this is actually the third year. Huh. I'll tell you how I can find out. I'll go and look at my uh, the seeds that I purchased and see if I've ordered 40 pounds once or twice. <laughs> kind of crazy. I don't remember that stuff. But yeah, that's kind of the way life's been lately. Uh, so anyways, this is a patch. It's probably about three or four foot wide and probably, I don't know, eight to ten feet long probably. Let's see. Those posts are ten feet apart. I think it's about closer to about 10 feet. So it's like four, it's about 40 square feet. And I put 450 sunflower seeds in it. <laughs> Three rows. So we'll just have to wait and see what it looks like. But yeah, it looks like a lot of the seeds that I thought wasn't going to pollinate did. Now whether or not they actually come in the seeds that they say they are is a different story. Because uh, just whenever I get those seeds that are in packages that look like they were, you know, manufactured overseas somewhere i i don't really trust what's in the package anymore so we'll just have to wait and see and if they are those seeds that'd be great because you know if they go to seed and i have more seeds to collect for next year i'll probably never have to buy sunflower seeds for the rest of my life <laughs> anyways i usually only plant <laughs> i usually only plant about uh, anywhere from five to ten sunflowers so 450 is a big step up <laughs> I, can't, I can't help but laugh about it anyways thanks for watching god bless you god bless your families god bless your homesteads